So Ronald sent in a problem that requires us to examine a line graph here. I really like this one. This looks pretty GED typical. So let's take a look here. I see the charges of a long distance phone plan are a function of the number of miles a customer uses long distance. In this case, when I say are a function, it's kind of like saying depends on. So the charges of a long distance phone plan, how you how much you get charged, depend on how many minutes you use. So the more minutes you use, the more you get charged here. The line graph examines the rates of two long distance plans. We can see that this blue line here is a plan A line, boom, 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 boom. And this is the key here telling me. And the orange line here represents uh, this plan B. Okay, so let's take a look at John, the first question. It says, John looked at his past long distance bills. On average, John uses around 300 minutes a month. Which plan should he choose? So uh, since John uses 300 minutes a month, we are going to look here at this horizontal axis because that's where you see the minutes of long distance calls. And I'm going to go up from 300 here and I'm going to look. He has an option. He can go with this orange line, plan B or this blue line, plan A. Well, which one should he choose? He wants to cho choose the one that's cheaper. Take a look here. Um, this vertical axis on the left-hand side is the monthly cost. Um, as we go up the vertical axis, my plan is getting more and more expensive. So it looks like this orange line is, oh, I don't know, maybe 28 bucks around here. But the blue line is going to be 30 bucks for that same amount of minutes. And so John should definitely use this lower line, this cheaper line. He's going to use the orange one plan. I keep doing that. There is a little button on my pen that does that, and I'm sorry. Okay, so he's going to go with plan B, the orange line, because he wants the lower cost. Now let's take a look at Marge. Marge only uses about 200 minutes per month. She's not talking as much as John here. Which plan should she choose? Well, let's take a look. Marge here, if you come up here, well, which plan is cheaper when you only use 200 minutes a month? You can definitely see that the blue line is, or the blue plan, plan A, is cheaper here than plan B. It's got a lower cost. And so I think Marge should use plan A. Now, this was not part a, of um, Ronald's question, but I threw it in as a bonus because it just feels so very, very GED-ish. So let's take a look. It says the two plans cost the same amount for a person who uses how many minutes a month of long distance. So let's take a look. These two plans, like this orange one, starts out high, but then it doesn't grow by very much. It has a small slope. They're not getting charged very much per minute, so it doesn't... Um, grow very fast. This blue line, the plan starts out cheap if you don't use a lot of minutes, but you can see it quickly gets more expensive if you talk more. It must have a higher per minute charge. But where are the two plans the same? Well, they're the same where they intersect. Boom. And if I look at this intersection, it looks like it's pretty well right at 250 minutes. If you were to talk for 250 minutes, it wouldn't really matter what plan you have because um, you'd be paying the same amount. All right, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.